welcome back to another video. And in today's record news video, I'm going to be talking about a bunch of stuff like a new update, some UGC items that are going to be coming pretty soon, and much more. Stay tuned inside this video because you're going to like it, and I'm not too sure if this will be a super long video or not. Anyways, you guys heard me say update. Yes, that's right. We got a new Rec Room update, and I'm here to cover it, of course. In case you guys haven't seen, we have the updated update edition. And here's our TLDR. No more double invites. You won't be asked to invite friends who are already in the room you're going to. They gave some TLC. I have no idea what that means. To slide and teleport animations for full body avatars and upgraded beam. Fix some issues with broken data table UI, customize anywhere, and chip cloning performance. And lastly, added support for cloning Rec Room Studio rooms. Then for avatars, they said that we heard your feedback and gave some love to our slide and teleport animations on both full body and upgraded bean avatars. We hope this helps level the playing field for PvP games. Customize Anywhere is now a tab inside the watch in case you guys haven't seen it already. And lastly, they fixed a bug where the Customize Anywhere button wouldn't take you to the Customize Anywhere page. Now for general improvements and bug fixes, they fixed an issue where a broken UI was preventing data tables from being viewed or edited. They fixed an issue where the back arrow wouldn't appear on the watch store carousels and fixed certain item lists from not updating. They added search bars to more config menus for various nodes. Players will no longer be asked to invite online friends who are already in the room that they're going to. And lastly, there was improvements to chip calling performance. Now for Rockham Studio, they have one patch note here, it's very small. We added support for cloning Rockham Studio rooms. Users will first be able to confirm they have the right to use all the assets within the room for it to be clonable. Then you'll be able to share your creations with everyone. And lastly, for experiments, they started an experiment with audio settings where the microphone is turned off by default on new accounts, and we're testing a variety of UI changes to let the player know that their microphone is muted. And they're rolling out a more performant chat experience to some players. So of course, as you guys can see, really small patch notes, and I read them as fast as I possibly could if you didn't notice. But in other words, be sure to let me know what you guys think down inside the comments below. In other news, it was revealed by Jay that in advance, Steam has already gotten this update that we received today on Friday. So if you see no update on Steam, it's normal. Also, if you're wondering and you love data tables for some reason, yes, Steam already has the fixed live for data tables and stuff. But yeah, players have gotten this new sliding animation. And as you guys can see on the actual screen, here's how it looks inside a full body avatar and beam. And if you're ever inside a standing VR, mode, here's how that looks inside of full body avatars, and yeah, what are your guys' thoughts? In other news, we also got a creator announcement talking about Rec Holiday Market signups opening. If you guys don't know, every single Christmas season, Rec Room has Rec Holiday Market, and it's basically like their Christmas event every single year. I really, really hope they decide to do something different this year, like how they did with RecCon. I thought RecCon this year was great, and hopefully they can kill it with this event as well. Anyways, they had this announcement saying this. At everyone, do you feel the crisp winter air? Can you smell the rich aroma of hot chocolate? That's right, winter is almost here and we're thrilled to invite you to Winter Wonderland, our annual winter event designed for our community to come together and this is a wonderful opportunity for you to showcase your talent and share your work with others. We can't wait to celebrate with you. If you want to be a part of this event, click here to learn how to submit your winter themed shops and rooms. Anyways, if you decide to click here to that link, you guys will see this new message. Winter Wonderland is coming! Winter Wonderland and Recollecting Market is returning in December 2024. For those who don't know, this is our annual winter event where players can come together to explore festive rooms, play games, and browse holiday shops. For creators, it's a great opportunity to get your work featured and seen. If you're wondering where and when, it's the room Winter Wonderland, and it will be open on December 6th and run through till January 3rd. And you want to participate as a creator, you have two options, submitting a shop and or room. These will be featured in Winter Wonderland's two sub rooms, the Recolidy Market and Winterfest. The deadline for submissions is November 20th. If you're wondering what you do need for a shop, festive shops are a rooms with winter or holiday or cozy feel. Shops should sell winter holiday themed custom shirts, inventions, and shops that are approved will be featured in the Rec Holiday Market subroom number 6th to January 3rd. What do you need for a room? They're looking for 16 creative rooms with the theme of winter, holiday, or cozy, feel that have fun games. These rooms will be featured in their Winter Fest subroom from December 6th to January 3rd, and if you need some inspiration, this is a great time of year for ski down snowy slopes, ice skating with pals, or enjoying fun holiday games and cozy hangs out by the fireplace. If you guys are wondering about room and shop criteria and notes, it says room and shops must have a winter holiday or cozy themes, the room must remain public for the, for the duration of the Winter Wonderland event, a door that links back to the Winter Wonderland room for your room so players can easily find their way back into the Winter Wonderland. Shops will not be using outdoor signs this year, but we will be using the room's name and thumbnail so please make it look pretty, and rooms and shops must follow the code of conduct and creator code of conduct including the rules around authorized use of intellectual property, and remember this applies to all content in your room including the items of an offer, we will remove shops if we find violations. Now how are rooms and shops approved? We will only approve one one submission per category per person. We will be selecting rooms and stores that are optimized and have stable performance, and they will also be looking for rooms and shops that are unique and fun experiences to play or 
items to sell. Submissions end November 20th and we will confirm with successful room owners by December 6th. And they even have this little note here that says, due to low uptake last year, we won't be having winter holiday workshops this year. If you have questions, need technical support, or encounter bugs, please visit the creator forums. And this is, you know, our entire article for Rec Holiday Market this year. Um, it seems like they're not doing a lot of stuff, but it also seems like they're doing some pretty cool things as well. The whole, you know, updated thumbnails instead of, you know, the room boards on the outside of the signs, I'm honestly looking forward to. I think a map change would be great, and hopefully they decide to do something epic this year. Now let's talk about UGC. Yes, there's been so much UGC coming out, and it's just been revealed by Peanut, a UGC creator, that they have some more UGC coming soon. They have a whole video basically showing it off, they posted it a day ago, and I'll basically let them take the floor. Hey guys, it's Peanut, and today we're in New Cards, and I'm about to show off some haunted UGC. Alright, first up, you already have met Bob, our ghost friend. He's our first Rec Room animated item. Isn't that awesome? He can wave when you wave, like this. And then his little brother is around my neck, as you can see here. And here's a super fun candy corn set that comes with a set of horns, a tail, and even fun candy corn ball rays. Here's a spider set that comes with a really nice necklace and a spider backpack. And here's a super scary mini set that right now comes with horns and a tail. Now the hope is for this kind of stuff to come out soon, but it's not always guaranteed. So stay tuned and I'll always post when these kind of things come out in the store. Check them out on Instagram and stuff, and of course, if they want to comment on YouTube, I will pin their comments so you guys can check them out on YouTube and stuff. They're awesome what they're doing, and honestly, I love how they're showing off all the UGC. Even the little animation UGC is awesome, too. Be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts on what you're copying. I know where you live. Uh, oh, uh, wrong bit, sorry. But hey, did you know that I have channel memberships on my YouTube channel? They're basically like a Patreon. They give me money every single month, and I give them shout outs to my videos and sneak peeks to my videos. These people's usernames are as they appear on YouTube, so check them out on YouTube if you want to and stuff. Massive shout out to Hydro. We got KobeFan76, Reed Reed, Nat the Pup, The Dragon Boy, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Dozer Blade Cat, Big BB, Burmy Owl, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix69, and of course, Box David. Thank you guys for all your support, and if you want to join the family, Press that little join button next to the subscription button and get started for as low as $5 a month. Uh B back to the video. Now Max Powers also had an update on the entire situation that happened last video. He had said we had done some good discussions with creative leadership at the end of the week about possible things we could do with the bent crouching look and animations. We got some ideas for what we can try without impacting performance and their hope is that they'll get some videos out the show here soon to get some feedback. Unfortunately one of our senior devs who us an expert with the system is taking a long vacation that will delay things a bit. What do you guys think? Be sure to let me know. And unfortunately at the moment it seems like that's all the recommendations news that we have for today. If you guys have any more record news, check me out on Discord, and I even have a Discord server. I really don't talk about my social media and my other, you know, socials and stuff like that, but you guys know that I am, like, on Twitter and Instagram too, right? Check out my description if you guys want to get all the links to that stuff, and you guys can see me on the social medias and on the Discords and stuff, and who knows, maybe even send me a DM saying hi or something. I, I don't know. Though, that is not all the record news that I have on my channel. If you guys want to see some more record news videos, you should be seeing some on that side of the screen and stuff, hopefully. And of course, like, subscribe, to all that crazy stuff and I would love if you use my code as well. Anyways, that's it. 